Good morning. So 2023 has been a pretty incredible year when it comes to books, at least in the post-apocalyptic genre. So I thought I would make a video on said on, on a few of the books that I've read. One of them I'm currently reading, still still currently reading. And I thought I would cover a few of the books just in case anybody was interested in going and getting some of them. Uh, and so there is one author that is not up there, and I, I feel like I, I need to point out why. Uh, one of the authors that I love his work, he does such incredible work, and that is Franklin Horton. And you've heard me recommend him way more than once here on the show. Uh, the Locker 9 series, the Borrowed World series are absolute must-haves in your library. However, um, I don't know if he's coming out, if he's came out with anything new on any of those series. And the reason why is because he started doing a book series that I'm just not good with. And uh, he started, I don't know the name of the series, but he started doing a book se series that involves the whole child trafficking thing. And I've got a big issue with that. Because what I see when I look at something like that is I see that somebody is trying to profiteer off of something horrible. And I know that there will be a lot of people out there that are around and say, oh, it's for awareness. It's for what bullshit. It's not for awareness. We are already aware. We already know some of the big players in it. Why don't we start there and do something as we the people? Why are we waiting on a government, you know, the ones that are directly involved in the trafficking? Why are we waiting for them to fix the problem that they created and the problem that they participate in? Makes no sense to me. But what to me goes on an even more sick level is to profit off of it. And I've got a big issue with that, whether it be in books, whether it be in movies, you know, I will not watch The Sound of Freedom. Why? Exact same reason. It's for aware Bullshit. It's not for awareness. We already know. It's profiteering. And I'm going to be quite honest here, and I don't care who it pisses off, but I'm not sure that I've got such a high uh, thought of people that seek that type of stuff for a form of entertainment. You follow me? That, yeah. Yeah, I kind of question that. So, I want to talk about the books, however, that I do have up here. And uh, I'm one of those save the best for last kind of people. So, we're actually going to do the non-Western society thing. We're actually going to go from right to left instead of left to right. So, uh, I will tell you about, uh, I'll tell you, I'm not going to do the book, I'm not doing a book review. I'm not going to really tell you about the books. I'm just going to tell you whether they were good or not, uh, you know, where you can find it. I will be putting uh, affiliate links down in the description and in the first comment. Yes, they will be affiliate links. Um, you know, it'll make it easier, though, for you to be able to find these particular books. So, Let's go ahead and let's get started again from right to left. You're going backwards here. And so uh, we've got Exploring Home. It's book 12 of the Survivalist series. Some people call it the Going Home series uh, by Angry American. And uh, I have to say, it is an there is no bad books up there, by the way. <laughs> there is no bad books up there. Um, Exploring Home was a, a a good book it was a really good book i wasn't such a fan of book 11 the previous one i just seemed i don't know it just seemed that he wasn't in his groove um and uh you know i still take big issue i'm not going to give anything away here uh i, I I take big issue with a part of the book uh, with somebody that was uh, supposed to be no longer. And, uh, well, lo and behold, they are longer and <laughs> still alive. And I, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not buying that it wasn't a screw up. I am not buying that it wasn't a screw up. I think it was a screw up. 
Um, but I'm going to be honest. I think his name was a screw up too. I don't think he intended to misspell angry. I think he misspelled it and he's just trying to go with it and make it sound like a purposeful thing. But those are all my opinions and it has no bearing on, on the quality of the book. Exploring home without a doubt. He was, uh, absolutely back into his groove and it was a very captivating read. Um, it was good read. I, I can't recommend it enough. I'll, uh, I'll flash up on the screen the Amazon page for uh, Exploring Home. And uh, right now, if you've got Kindle Unlimited, go and read it. It doesn't, uh, doesn't cost you anything if you got Kindle Unlimited other than your, you know, of course, your monthly fee for Kindle Unlimited. Otherwise, uh, your other options are for Exploring Home is uh, $9.99 just to buy the Kindle version without having Kindle Unlimited. Um, and I guess with uh, um, Audible, I believe that it's free as well. So Kindle Unlimited, don't have to pay nothing. Uh, Audible, don't got to pay nothing if you're members of those programs. If you want a paperback version of the book, that's going to cost you $17.99. So again... Uh, that's Angry American Exploring Home, book 12 of the Survivalist series. So again, great book. I don't have any bad books up here, I'm telling you. <laughs> There's no bad books up here. So the next book that I want to talk about is from William Forston. Now, I can't say that William Forston was the very first post-apoc author that I have read um, because I had actually in junior high read a book called After the Bomb uh, by Gloria D. Miklowitz, and that was my first post-apocalyptic book that I've read. Um, and then I hadn't read anything for decades. Uh, Jen is what got me back into, into the groove with reading, and, uh, and so I, if it's a good book, man, I, I can't get enough of them. I really enjoy it. So, uh, William Forston, uh, many people call his series the uh, the One Second After series, and that, that makes sense to me, because that's the name of the first book. But technically, uh, it's called a John, John, the John Matherson novel, is, is what it essentially is called. Now, uh, this latest installment is called Five Years After, and uh, it just absolutely an incredible book i mean william Forson, he is really 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 good at at what he does and i have no complaints about the book um and there is one thing though that i do want to say and i waited until we got to this book before i said anything um both with angry american and with william Forson. Okay, first of all, these, these are novels, all right? Obviously, this stuff didn't really happen. These are novels. And one of the core purposes of a novel is to be entertaining. And they are, without a doubt, 110% entertaining. That being said, uh, they go pretty deep into the fantasy world. Okay, both both of the book series, uh, Angry American, uh, you know, uh, uh, he he winds up, the main character winds up, uh, not just sheriff, because it kind of started out sheriff, uh, but now he's the governor, of, and I'm probably giving something away, but, uh, sorry, spoiler alert, uh, now all of a sudden he's governor of, of Florida, and then you got the whole thing with, you know, Sarge being able to call in any damn thing he wants, so to speak. So, you know, we're not really going to have that type of situation, I don't think, for the large, large, large majority of us. But again, they're novels, they're meant for entertainment, and they're absolutely entertaining. Now, with uh, William Fortune and Five Years After, main character in that, winds up even being, I think of it, uh, and again, spoiler, uh, vice vice president, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't think he was president. I think he was vice president. 
or so, something. I think he was going to be vice president or something. And I think I, I can't remember. I'll have to read it again. But, um, you know, again, kind of kind of that big, long, far stretch there. And uh, while it's it's entertaining as hell, it's in reality not so realistic. So you got to kind of have to, you know, I'm, I'm good with it not being realistic with that level. Um, but I do really enjoy the realism of, of books as well. So anyway, again, there is no bad books up there. Five years after, an excellent read as well as all of the others in the John Matherson series. And uh, on that, and of course, I'll show the Amazon page. I'll flash it up there. Affiliate link will be down there uh, in the description, the first comment. And for uh, for William Fortune, five years after, uh, you're looking at $14.99 to buy the Kindle. It is not a Kindle Unlimited book. Um, I guess it is an Audible book because what I'm looking at shows zeros uh, for the audio book. So I guess if you... Uh, if you have a Audible membership, then you can get the Audible version um, for free. So uh, the, he does offer a hardcover, and this is amazing to me. The hardcover is actually cheaper than the paperback. So uh, the hardcover book is $14.49 currently, and the paperback is uh, $17.99. So, ain't that crazy? You can get the hardcover book cheaper than you can get the paperback or the Kindle. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I would like to have the hardcover myself. Um, I, I, I would. I'd love to have all these books in physical form, and I don't. I've only got two books in physical form, and those are the uh, from, from uh, Franklin Horton. And that is the first book of the Locker 9 series. I've got it autographed from Franklin Horton. And the first book of the Borrowed World series. And I've got that autographed from uh, from Franklin Horton. So, uh, and then, and then, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'm going to work something out to uh, be able to get a copy of Seven Days, which is the last book we're covering right now. Uh, hopefully, I can get something worked out to get an autographed copy of that so i'm trying to click on the little thingy here so we can go over to the seven days page and uh this is the book i'm still currently reading and i finished chapter five yesterday and uh i am just i'm in awe um there is a a, a very very good chance now you may not have heard of this author before because he's new out of the gate and it's um uh, I know him as Joe, uh, Joseph Nurmeyer, and uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce his name any way, shape, or form, but uh, Joe Nurmeyer, and uh, he's an incredible person, incredible human being. Um, I had met Joe in a post-apocalyptic uh, author group uh, on Facebook, and, um, and he would post um, more or less news and give insight and information and uh, everything he posted was on point uh was accurate and uh was very well thought out and uh and so that's how i met joe and um uh, and so eventually we became friends on facebook you know talk back and forth on facebook posts here and there and uh, he's a great guy incredible guy so I guess he had been working, if I get the story correct, I guess he'd kind of been toying around the idea of, of writing a book. And uh, I think he pretty well had seven days done. And, uh, but, you know, it needed all the work done to it to get it, you know, to actually publish the book. And there were a, a, a number of people that kept encouraging and pushing him, do it, do it, do it. And, uh, man. <laughs> this this is incredible um the book seven days is uh is i'm i'm up to i'm on to, i finished chapter five up to this point the entire thing is absolutely realistic and believable 
and again i will be doing a separate review video on this when i'm when i'm finished reading it uh, but i'll tell you what joe is certainly on his way to becoming my favorite author uh, this book is just incredible his writing style there's so many aspects about his writing style it's incredible now, this man should have been doing this for a long time uh, i have no doubt that if he had been doing this for a long time uh wow well, we would have probably never made friends because <laughs> you know what i mean um i think this guy is going to go far when it comes to writing books and he does a really really incredible job and uh, there is one other little bit of a cool factor and i i do make sure that it doesn't play into my opinion of the book uh, I'm pretty good at compartmentalizing things like that. Um, the the cool factor that I speak of is, uh, you know, being friends with him on Facebook. I've I've seen him, for instance, he's got an old truck that he's been working on, uh, and there are a number of things in the book that, uh, of course, the book is set in the future, so to speak. And I say that in the future because we haven't been emp'd right <laughs> so it's obviously in the future however um it the book itself covers real life things that i remember him doing and posting on facebook about like working on the truck <laughs> and just a number of the things that he had talked about in real life is in the book and and it's uh it's just amazing to kind of see that connection and uh Again, his his writing style is extremely realistic, and uh, it just I can't recommend it enough. I cannot recommend uh, Seven Days enough. Uh, he is currently, uh, and it sounds like he's pretty well got it wrapped up. I think he's got to you know again do all the author stuff, the, all the editing, and all that good stuff. Uh, but I think he's from what i gather i think he's pretty well done with it and it's uh it's going to be called 14 days uh the reckoning i believe is uh is the the entire title of it so anyway let's uh let, let's i'm not going to do a review i'm not going to get into the book uh because i haven't finished it yet but uh i'm telling you out of out of all the the books up there that one at least for 2023 for sure is my favorite and i have a feeling it's gonna want he, he's gonna wind up my favorite author i just love his style the way he 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 pulls things together the way he describes things it, very very good mental picture um that you can get from reading his books and that's extremely important to me because i like to put myself in the shoes of the characters and um uh, and of course you need a really really good descriptive book to be able to to have that type of a visualization so uh let's talk about numbers with uh with joe's book seven days kindle if you are a kindle unlimited member you can read it right now for free well of course your monthly subscription fee but um if you are an audible member uh, you can listen to it for free uh, i am not an audible member or a kindle unlimited member um and if you are not either the book will cost you the kindle version that is will cost you four dollars and 99 cents uh, however if you do want the paperback copy that is going to be 13 dollars and 99 cents so again the links for all three of these books will be down below and um there is no bad books up here there is no bad books up here and if i was to have to if you were holding a gun to my head and said you can only pick one i have absolutely without a doubt and without any hesitation would have to go with seven days by joe uh i would have to go with seven days it is again i'm not even halfway through the book yet and wow i am just in awe i am truly in awe so uh anyway there you have it 2023 was a pretty incredible year when it came to the post-apoc type of books and uh there are three of them there that i covered none of them 
and I, and I want to emphasize this, none of them are even remotely bad. So, again, book 12, Exploring Home by Angry American. He's much more back into his groove, I feel, than he was with book 11. Uh, William Fortune, what can I say? Uh, you know, every single book in his series is a hit. He's a great author. Um, and then Joseph Nurmeyer, if I'm saying his last name correctly, I hope so. <laughs> um, he, uh, a new author, just out of the gate. Seven Days is his first book. He does have a another book, and I... I failing to remember the name of it and i just clicked on his name and i don't see it come up i can't remember the name of his other book uh he does have another book and i believe it's out i'm pretty sure it's released but why it's not showing up uh when i click on his name i don't know so anyway uh seven days is certainly a good book i would certainly recommend you give it a try and uh hopefully 2024 number one hopefully we're not all glowing in the dark and number two hopefully we um hopefully we see some more great content from these authors now i don't necessarily expect that william fortune will be coming out with a book in in 2024 i can't tell you he's not going to um but he there's typically it seems a little while in between installments of the series so I don't know if I would expect another one out so soon from William Fortune. There may be, and I hope there is, but I don't know. Uh, I do believe that Angry American is hard at work, if I'm not mistaken, on book 13, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know what the name of it's going to be. I don't know if he's even said, um, but I, I believe that he's working on book 13. Again, I think uh, from what I understand, Joe is kind of wrapping up on 14 Days, the second installment of, uh, we'll call it the Seven Day Series, and uh, for now anyway. And uh, again, I cannot recommend you read that book enough. So I figured I would do this, give you guys something to do. Um, you know, maybe maybe you got a, a, a Kindle Unlimited account for Christmas or whatever the case may be, or an Amazon gift card or something like that, and it's itching a hole or scratching a hole, whatever the word is, I can't remember the saying is, I can't remember, or burning a hole in your pocket, that's what it is, um, so anyway, not a bad, uh, not a bad way to spend some time, and of course, uh, with all three of the books, there are things that you can learn in the books that, that will, will help you, especially in your own preparedness journey, and the most important reason why I think people need to read the post-apocalyptic novels is because of the mindset. Um, I think it would do people justice to be able to understand as much as possible the mindset of a person in that situation. So, anyway, that's what I've got for you on these. I uh, I wanted to make this video. I will uh, I will see you all on the thirty first which is sunday night uh to continue back with uh with our normal programming uh however i may not be in vr I, i'm thinking about maybe knocking the vr thing down to either one or maybe two days a week and uh for two reasons number one it is a lot more work to go about doing it this way which i don't really mind so much but I'm hoping that maybe cutting cutting the days down uh, not only will be less of a, a load on me, but also I, I'm hoping that that encourages more people to participate. So uh, absolutely, I, I want uh, I want more folks to participate, uh, coming here at the table, so to speak, and uh, and talk about whatever's in the news or whatever we got on our minds. So. Anyway, that is what I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I, I beg you to please uh, use your head when it comes to the new year. Don't drink and drive. Please don't drink and drive. Uh, the local, local group uh, for our local town here that I had started, I made a post. Um, I made a post looking for people that will volunteer either volunteer their their time 
uh, or even those that participate in Uber or any of the other type of, of uh, programs out there, uh, to put their contact information in, in the post that I made so that people um, have a number they can look at or a name that they can you know call upon uh, if they need a ride. So I urge you, if you're going to drink for the new year and you're going to be at a location other than home or going somewhere, you know, please, designated driver. I'm not a fan of alcohol. Uh, it costs way too many people's lives. And unfortunately, a lot of those are, are innocent lives that weren't the ones drinking. And uh, I take real big issue with that. Plus, I'm not a real big fan of turning your brain into mush. And alcohol, uh, it, it poisons you. That's what makes you drunk. It poisons you. I don't see the point. I think it's pretty dumb. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I am going to get out of here. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed new year. Safe as well. And, uh, well, God willing, we'll see you Sunday night. Shalom.